In Chicago, we're surrounded by more nuclear power plants than anywhere in the United States. And Illinois has the greatest number of pressurized water reactors, the same model and make that are bedeviling Japan. Tonight's intelligence report, the question of could it happen here? ABC 7 investigative reporter Chuck Addy joining us with more tonight. Chuck. Kathy, Cheryl, could any one of Illinois' many nuclear plants fail? Of course, accidents happen. Could there be an 8-plus earthquake here? Possible. There was one along the New Madrid Fault 200 years ago this December of that strength. Would the nuclear reactors identical to those in Japan survive? That question tonight drawing different responses from watchdogs, the industry, and politicians. This is Exelon's Dresden nuclear generating station southwest of Joliet. Dresden and the Quad Cities plant here in Moline are the two facilities in northern Illinois using General Electric Mark I reactors, the same boiling water model that is in use at the Fukushima plant in Japan, where a hydrogen explosion rocked the horizon. Over the weekend in Japan, that explosion occurred at the top of the reactor unit, known as secondary containment. The primary containment area closer to the core reactor is reported still intact. Here in Chicago, uh, the closest fault that's really had significant earthquakes is the New Madrid. And that has certainly had large earthquakes in the past. But most of our reactors here are much closer to Chicago than they are to St. Louis. And so there's a significant distance. And with distance, it mitigates this effect. In a statement, Exelon Chairman and CEO John Rowe told us their nuclear plants are safe, particularly given the different seismic patterns in our regions and the absence of tsunami-type events. Rowe says Exelon's nuclear facilities are designed to American seismic and flood standards reflecting their local geography and equipped with numerous and redundant safety systems. However, when asked for Dresden's earthquake rating, what magnitude it is capable of withstanding, an Exelon spokesman declined. How many times do you get whacked in the face before you wake up? Chicago and nuclear power watchdog Dave Kraft says the GE Mark I reactors in Illinois need to be reevaluated for how they would tolerate a major earthquake. What's concerning us is the kind of flippant attitude that the federal regulators have put on seismic uh, defense at our reactors in the Midwest. Illinois senators are not as quick to jump off the nuclear power bandwagon. I don't think we should have a knee-jerk reaction because uh, energy independence for the United States is uh, uh, critical. But I think a common sense view would be to look at the location of nuclear power plants along fault lines. What we need to do is to expand all forms, safe forms of electricity, uh, power and electricity, including nuclear. In a letter this afternoon, Chicago Congressman Bobby Rush, ranking member of the House Energy and Power Subcommittee, asked for hearings on nuclear plant risks, saying that we should not accept the industry's assurances without conducting our own independent evaluation. There are 23 nuclear plants across the country currently using GE's Mark I system to contain radioactivity, a design that has been challenged by regulatory and safety experts as having a high chance of failure. The industry tonight continues to stand behind it. All right, very interesting. Okay. Thank you, Chuck.